What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, while I do not and will not, absolutely will not guide on holiday weekends, especially in the morning, I do always make sure to get my wife and or the kids out for some water time on the weekend. But sometimes uh, there are, especially Memorial Day weekend at the end of May here, there are some sneaky good bites that happen mid afternoon into late afternoon, even with all the crazy, crazy pleasure boat traffic out there. And that's exactly what happened today. It took my wife and her friend out just for a little booze cruise or something but i just had a sneaking suspicion that i was going to be able to catch some nice walleyes on a jig and a plastic up super shallow with jet skis and big weights wake boats blowing right over the spot and fortunately that is exactly what happened today so we're just going to get straight into this one um try to get as much much structure to this video as i could just being kind of a last minute video just happened to have the camera in the boat had a lot of fun pitching a jig and a plastic up shallow on the new Fox River FRX Series 610 medium light. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Tried to get as much useful information uh, as I could in there, but there's a lot of fish that I'm gonna have to cut out of this video because I caught a lot of walleye. So hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you uh, towards the end of the video. Look at that. First cast, oh, and I dumped him. I've already caught three fish off camera. And my wife said, you should start filming. And I caught one on the first cast and I lost him. And if you can't tell, it's Memorial Day weekend because we got boats blowing right over the spot. Because why wouldn't they? But we're still catching. So we're just gonna keep seeing if we can maybe catch five or six more, get this video done. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, why is he so mad? He's all wrapped up now. Oh, there we go. Better spot lock here. How'd you get all wrapped up there, fella? Well, the first three or four that we caught, they were choking it. And now it seems like they were kind of pinning it to the bottom. He's got that moxie right outside or that pulsar right on the outside of his mouth but that's a beauty i don't know let's get a little size gauge on him probably your classic 14 and a half to 14 and three quarter inch walleye but so fun nope he is 15 and a half inches long <laughs> would be a good eater that's the third one over 15 so far that but the first one on camera just a beauty little eater so fun on a jig and a plastic thanks buddy Sorry. This is where I'm going to reside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the setup here. So we are running a quarter ounce Northland tungsten jig, probably easily my favorite jig on the market right now. Super sensitive. It's got a nice sleek profile and it's got a really nice premium hook on it too. But we're running that uh, with the 2.8 inch Pulsar. Uh, from Beef Fish and Tackle. It's one of my favorite, favorite baits. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure this was a white one, but I left it in a bag with some chartreuse and firecracker colors. So now it's got this really cool kind of like translucent white and chartreuse, but running that on the brand new Fox River 610 medium light fast, the FRX series, by far the best jig pitching rod on the market with the exception of the 7.6 that we offer as well. But Run that on 10 pound suffix 832 braid, a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader also. And uh, we're pretty much just getting it out on the spot. We're just fishing a big point. It's got a lot of rocks on it. We're sitting right on the transition, letting that bait get to bottom. We're casting up to probably anywhere from like four to five to maybe six feet, depending on how, where we're at. But it's really just like I fish these fish in Green Bay here and I have one on and that couldn't have gone any better. So I guess we'll maybe re have, have to redo the demonstration, but we're just stroking that jig right up off the bottom, letting it fall, hit bottom, stroke it back up. And that guy felt him hit on the fall, but that's a nice, I think that's a true walleye. Yeah, gonna get a lot of saw guys mixed in 
as well with the saugers and the walleyes too but nothing huge just really good eater size walleyes but um it's about as fun as it gets like i said i love stroking a jig in a plastic just like this especially up shallow every walleye fisherman loves pitching jigs and if you don't then there's something wrong with you but again getting a good long cast out away from the boat the spot i'd say that transition is i don't know 20 feet out a lot of rock obviously like i said on the spot but again just kind of a slow pull up i just got bit again let it hit bottom sometimes you'll feel them hit it on the fall other times they're just going to pin it down to bottom you're going to lift up and you're going to feel mush and that's when you want to set the hook but the water is 75 76 degrees so you can be a little bit more aggressive than you would be in the cold water with it i mean those fish don't care but uh there's just something about holiday weekends during the summer heavy boat traffic recreational boat traffic during the summer that even up shallow these walleyes in the stained water do not seem to care i think that maybe sometimes those motors blowing over the top of them and all this wake you know washing machine effect wake from the wind and the waves from the boats i think they actually kind of like that so but like i said um yeah i mean we caught three off camera and decided to pull the camera out and um hopefully these fish should still continue to go but again it's just a very subtle kind of slow pull up you're not really snapping the bait you could if you wanted to but i'm just doing a slow pull and the key is to watch your braid uh, but i mean with this northland tungsten jig you can feel that jig hit the bottom and that's when you pick up your slack make another pull pretty much the only time oh, only time that you're going to get bit is if that bait consistently hits bottom every time so pretty fun but that is definitely a technique that i've used a million times for almost every species of game fish with the exception of crappies obviously but that's program so check definitely check out the new frx series of the fox river rods if you guys have not the 610 medium light fast they have a 610 medium extra fast as well along with the 71 medium fast and the 76 medium light fast also so a nice lineup of premium premium rods for doing just about whatever you want to do so anyway let's uh catch some more here enjoy the evening the boat traffic's kind of clearing out maybe a little bit winds up and down but it's been fun it has been fun Oh, he hit it on the fall. That one just freaking smoked it. What is this? If it's a walleye, it's huge. But I mean, he smoked it on the fall. Hopefully, please be a big walleye. Absolutely dusted it. We got something big. I can feel his teeth rubbing on the leader. What is that? Oh, big old sheep. Big old sheep. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. A donkey barn door. No wonder he smoked it. Got super light line. I want my tungsten jig back. Oh, yeah. The purple hero himself smoked the tungsten jig. That was fun. He hammered it, but you know what? When drum are here, while iron ear. Give him a big kiss. I don't think I will. Stupid rubber lips. Mm. Man, that felt good. Hopefully not a drum. I'm thinking walleye, but I don't know. It's been two drum in a row and it's definitely, it has teeth. That's the kind. Oh, what's more fun than a jig and a plastic bite for walleyes? Nothing. I'll answer for you because trust me, it's nothing. A lot of saw guys mixed in too. Pretty guys. He will be in my live well next year. Don't know anything. Hit it on the fall, come on, hit it again. Crap. 
just as we were getting plowed by waves. There he is. He came back for it. Why are walleyes so silly? Why are they so silly? Oh, that's just as good as it gets. Probably the smallest one yet, but you know what? I don't care because it's a tiny spot and there's a bunch of fish on it and they're biting. So we're catching. Oh, he came back for it again. Two in a row. We got, look at that toy plane up above us, babe. We got toy planes flying over. We got walleyes snapping. That would be a keeper right there. Can anybody hear me? Woo. Just the most perfect sampling of the most perfect 15 and a half inch eater you could ask for. Mm. We love, we love it. Not eating fish though, we got plenty. The wind is being weird. It's like up, down, up, down, up, down. It like blows for three minutes and then it's done and then it blows again. Dude, they're smoking it on the fall now. Not big, but I like when they eat it on the fall. That is just a cigar. A baby, fresh guy. We don't care. It's Memorial Day weekend and it's what? It is now 541 and they're bitey. We like bitey. Mm -hmm. Fish on, way out there. They are so loaded up on this point this afternoon. It's like I said, I've been doing this since like, I don't know, probably four o'clock before I decided to pull the camera out. Make a vidigia. Yeah? Again, a lot of babies, but I don't know, probably had four or five keepers. I don't care. I actually made a video, I think maybe two years ago on this spot doing the exact same thing just about two months later in July. So this technique does work. That water is warm though and they are charged up. As you can tell, get them back. Super fun. Yeah, buddy. They are just smoking it. It's another nice one too. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi baby. That would be another perfect probably 16 inch eater right there. Damn this is fun. I never thought that I would have so much fun on a holiday weekend fishing. There's literally no one out here fishing. Everyone is just <clears throat> zipping around on their boats. Nobody's actually crowding any spots or anything like that. I mean, I don't know. The other spot way over there probably has boats on it, but I've been all by myself here on this point, so cannot complain even a little bit. Randy. This is fun. I'm having fun. Where do you want pizza from? I don't care. Not even, I'm not super hungry right now, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you want, there's one. Oh man, this is how do I can't leave this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I never get to do this. Just crushing. Crushing whale eyes on the jigs, bud. Mmm. Oh my god, dude. Oh, he came back. We got him. Got him. Love to see it. I'm not leaving biting fish. My wife and her friend are hungry. I'm not leaving biting fish. No, 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 no. Can't do it. Can't do it. She was like 90% of the time, it's freaking fine. What does that mean? 
Got one. Got one in the side of his face, in his face. Dusted it. Right in his cheek meat. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bye. Way out there, all the way at the end of my cast. Holy mackerel, why is this so loose? Boy, howdy, if we were keeping, we'd be eating good tonight, I reckon. But alas, we are not. Mmm. You want some? Oh, popped off the rock and caught a fish. Weird. Are you kidding me? Hashtag Memorial Day weekend, boys and girls. Just railing. They're all the same size. And I'm sorry. The sunglasses Love it. Don't care. Love it. That one hit it on the fall. That one's a better fish right there. Please don't be a drum. I haven't felt anything weird, so I think it's probably a nice eye. We're about to get smoked by some waves here. Who is it? I don't know, he's doing weird stuff now. <clears throat> Swimming like he's hooked weird. Maybe it's a white. Nope, nice walleye. Biggest one of the day. Can you hand me the net, babe? Yeah, I can't both flip this one. We'll make that the end to this video. I haven't caught a walleye on a jig that big probably since Green Bay. Beauty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, well, uh, it's been pretty fun this afternoon. Uh, this is definitely the biggest one of the day and obviously we're gonna let it go, but take a second to kind of show her off here. Not a super, super giant, but that's probably, I don't know, a 21, 21 incher. Just a beauty. Got my rod all fouled up with that Northland tung tungsten jig. It's one bait in its face. Super nice. We love it. So yeah, I don't know. Nothing really more to say, but stroking jigs on main lake structure, little rock piles in the summertime. That's about as fun as it gets. So get this guy back here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.